Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Amy, and this is Amy's Lifestyle and Budget, where we do all things live in life on a budget. In today's video, we will be doing my weekly cash budget and stuffing. Weekly, weekly paycheck budget and cash stuffing. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, keep on watching, and let's get on into the video. start by maybe rearranging just a little bit while we do the budget and then I can pull some of this back. <clears throat> I'm coming off of a cold so if you can hear it in my voice I apologize. Um, it, this week is my husband's paycheck week. He's bringing in 2108. For our bills we have our mortgage which is 481 a week. $36 for his car washing service, $91 for our cable, and then uh, $35 for my car washing service. And then I didn't grab my calculator, so one moment, please. So that is going to be... I'm trying to get like a good shot so you guys can see it too, but I'm like a mess today, so... Nothing's really working out for me. Whatever, this is gonna have to work. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Um, four eighty one plus thirty six plus ninety one plus thirty five is six forty three. This is like our any time that the week splits this way. This is like our lowest bills week. Um. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but now you know. <laughs> so 2108 minus 643 gives us 1465 to work with. For groceries, I'm going to budget $100 for the week. Gas, I'm going to budget, I think, 80 bucks for the week. Food, I'm going to budget $100. Uh, I'm trying to be a lot better about eating out. So, I think I'm going to budget, mm, let's just budget 100 and try to come under, because I'd rather have excess budget than bust it, you know what I mean? Kitty is my husband's work thing, and that is 60 bucks, and then my husband is taking up golf, so I'm going to do 100 bucks there. So, that is 440 I know that because I did this in a prior week. <laughs> Um, so 1465 minus 440 gives us 1025 left to work with, which is plenty. So we will be doing 15 bucks for, you know what? I think that I'm going to start, uh, no, it'll be fine. I'm just going to leave it at 15. I'm like over, I don't, I don't use $15 a week on my pets. Um, so I'm like, should I, should I lower it? But I guess like we can just have a stockpile for them just in case something happens. God forbid. Uh, so $15 for pets, $50 for car, $20 for essentials, $30 for annual bills, $40 for household stuff. Uh, $40 for Christmas, which I also need to start thinking about that now that we're getting closer. $100 for travel, $10 for FabFitFun, $20 for education, $10 for clothing, $10 for gift, and $20 for hobbies. That is my standard $365 there which leaves us with $660 in our buffer, which is really good. We're trying to be a lot more mindful of our spending. Um, and so I know that having this buffer is going to be really nice because I already, <laughs> I say we're trying to be more mindful of my spending and then I follow it with, I just bought a perfume 
very impulsively, so I'm not 100% better <laughs> at sending, but um, that'll come in handy there at least. And then, you know, I'm just going to mark that now. Yeah, I'm just going to mark that now for like miscellaneous because I already know I spent it. So I'm going to say the perfume was like maybe 180. So my budget is going to be 180 there. And this 180 is 480 here. 440 plus 180. say perf <laughs> cool so that is the budget for this pay period or this week um i need to be better about tracking it because that's where i actually see the accountability and like have to face up to my choices so hoping to get that uh to you next friday and then monday um it's probably going to be this video. So that is the budget. I don't know why I was going to move that. Now is the, now comes the cash stuffing. Sorry, I bumped you. So let's do $15 for pets. And that brings us to... 120, 40, 60, 80, 220, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So 270 on our sinking funds balance for pets. Maintenance is our car maintenance fund and that is getting 50. So that brings us to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, 760, 770, 780, 790, 810 for car. And then Essentials is getting 20. And that brings essentials to 120, 40, and 60. 160. <clears throat> I need to reassess my budget next. I probably, I'll probably do it at the end of the year, but things are changing as always. So $20 and 30, or <laughs> 20 and a 10 makes 30 for annual bill bills. And that brings our annual bills to 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210 dollars for annual bills. Household gets 40. Which brings household to 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50. So 250 for annuals. We have a like a pretty big Sam's Club or Costco run coming up because we're getting low on all of the like paper supplies, you know. Um, that reminds me, maybe I'll do that today. Uh, Christmas is 40 so 20 and 40 and that brings christmas to 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 70 so 370 in cash 870 in the bank which I have done some Christmas shopping throughout the year, um, so I have some some done, but m much more to come. Travel is getting a hundred dollars, and that brings this balance to a hundred dollars. 
I have some flights I really need to book. I've been like procrastinating, which is never a good thing when it comes to flights because inevitably they always go up. <laughs> um, FabFitFun gets $10, which brings that balance to 30. Education is gonna get $20, which brings this cash balance to 20, and then I have 1500 in the bank. So I'm just gonna say 20 here, but I have two uh, fake notes in the back here that remind me that I have cash in the bank for that. Clothing is gonna get a 10, and that brings this balance to 30, and then Gift gets 10, and that brings this balance to 30. And last but not least, Hobbies gets the last 20, and that brings Hobbies to 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 160. And that is my cash stuffing. So thank you guys for tuning in uh, to another episode on Amy's lifestyle and budget. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.